Hey everyone, what's going on? Ryan Knows Tech here from techinform.us and today we've got the review of a Sony VAIO. Um, it's a VAIO that is not mine. I know I'm going to have a lot of comments asking me why I got a VAIO. Um, I didn't. Fixing it for a friend. This model happens to be the VGN FW510F. Don't ask me what that means because I haven't the slightest idea. Anyways, here it is. It's a 15.6, I believe. Um, it's the widescreen version. I don't know if it's 15.6 or 4, but it's one of those. You guys get the idea. Uh, relatively expensive machine. It's fairly fairly new. It's not brand new. It is designed for Windows 7, so, you know, since uh, October of 2009. It's got a really nice look to it, though. I was surprised. Most PCs don't look this nice. Uh, it's got VAIO and Sony. Actually, Sony is just uh, printed on in the plastic, but VAIO, this is out of some sort of metal material here. Plastic feels good here. Uh, we'll take a tour around the device first. But the keyboard, it's an island style keyboard. Looks a lot like a MacBook Pro keyboard, actually. Up top here, we find our speakers and buttons here. Uh, SR1, I don't really know what that is. There's uh, volume up and down, play, pause, stop, backtrack, forward to track, and then AV mode for audio video. Um, keyboard, of course, uh, mouse buttons here don't have a whole lot of feedback. They feel pretty good, though. Trackpad is nice. Uh, I think it's Alps and not Synaptics, though, so that may be a problem for some of you, and it would be for me, uh, but I, I could get used to it again if I had to. Over here are our our, our, our if I can talk today, <laughs> sound like a seal, stickers, uh, designed for Windows 7, Intel Core 2 Duo, and ATI, uh, Radeon pr Premium Graphics. Over on the left, you're going to find your VIO logo and your Energy Star, because this is Energy Star compliant. There's your screen. I believe it's 1600 by 900, which is a very good 16 by 9 resolution. You have a Motion Eye webcam up top. All you can see is me in the reflection, but uh, it's actually a pretty good webcam. I did take a look at it. I'll we'll come over to the left side. That's where you're going to find your power plug in here, your fan vent, Kensington locks over here, Gigabit Ethernet, VGA out. HDMI out. I believe that is uh, Firewire 200 and some sort of a, I believe that's a 54 Express card slot, which is nice. On the front, you have your battery light. If you can see it there, let's adjust that a little bit. Battery light, disk activity light. Here's your wireless on off switch. There's a Pro Magic gate. It sounds something proprietary to Sony, I don't know. And a SD only slot, which is good to have uh, SD. Uh, along in the front right, is your microphone and headset 3.5 millimeter jack connectivity, which is nice. Three USB ports, two 2.0 over here, DVD or W, and your power button, which we'll be pushing very shortly. It's uh, it's relatively thin. I think we'll do a little size comparison here uh, against the mid 2009, whoops, MacBook or the early 2010. I just switched. I need to remember this MacBook Pro. So this is the 13 inch. Obviously, it's gonna be uh, quite a bit smaller on top, but we should see the difference in thinness, but there is a pretty big price difference here as well. Anyways, we'll go ahead and boot it up, take a look here. Uh, I believe it's running a Phoenix BIOS, and we'll get into the specs once I get into the OS and I can remember what it is. As a little side note, here's the power adapter of the VAIO next to Apple's MagSafe. It really feels like it's full of nothing. It's pretty clunky. It's got a uh, green LED that tells you when it's functioning. But uh, I really wish they could make these smaller. We'll be able to see this nice screen resolution here in just a second. As it finishes booting, you can see that there is a, a little green power ring uh, here that lights up when it's charging and uh, definitely when it's on. And it will be orange when it needs power and when it's charging and has not reached a full charge yet. Uh, as it still finishes booting because it's Windows, we will talk about uh, build quality. Now, it, it feels pretty good. It's made of plastic. It's definitely better than your uh, average run-of-the-mill pavilion uh, from HP or your Dell Inspiron. So it's, it's not bad. However, uh, being used to a MacBook Pro and then coming to use something like this for a day or two for review, it it just feels, uh, it feels like a PC, guys. It's, you've got some, uh, actually, a... Uh, very fair amount of flex here. 
uh, the plastic moves around a little bit. The biggest thing though, I would say, are these hinges. They're really not designed that well. They move in a lot. It's not flat. It's not straight. That would definitely be something that, that, um, that would make me a little hesitant to buy this. But I don't think it's something to, that would turn me around completely. So we are booted up now. And this is, excuse the obnoxious Windows logons on there, running uh, Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. Uh, RAM in here, we've got 4 gigabytes of the DDR2-800. So it's not, DD, it's not a DDR3 system. Coming from late last year, uh, I would expect in this price range, at least uh, DDR3, the, the 800 speed, I believe. Uh, megahertz RAM, if not 1066. So it no, it's it's not slow RAM. It's just not the high-end RAM that most of us MacBook, MacBook Pro, iMac, any Mac users, and uh, definitely other PCs in this price range. So we're gonna wait for this to open because it's Windows, and uh, we'll see what's going on here. Uh, we have the Intel Core 2 Duo T6600. Now my Lenovo has a T6500. The only difference is the T65 is 2.1 gigahertz, the T66 just an updated version 2.2. Big difference? Absolutely not. Gets the same rating here. So it's a 2.2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, again, 4 gigs DDR2 RAM, 64-bit Windows, all that RAM's going to work. Now, the graphics card in here is actually something worth looking at, which uh, you usually don't find in notebooks. What? Could not create details page. I love Windows. But there it is. Nice. Okay. So the hard drive is a 500 gig, 5400 RPM drive. It actually scored very well. The base score on this system, I would zoom in, but the prob probably uh, get worse quality. I don't know. This is the 2.2 uh, core to duo. It gets a 5.7 review. The RAM gets a 5.7. Graphics, ATI Mobility Radeon, Radeon HD 4650. I believe that's going to give you or 512 megs dedicated, which is very good. That got a 5.9, so that's very impressive. Gaming graphics, 6.6, .6, possibly the highest gaming graphics I've ever seen on a notebook. And then back to that hard drive of 5.7. So you have three 5.7s, a 5.9, and a 6.6. .6. That's very good for, for a laptop PC. <laughs> Um, that actually scored higher than my MacBook Pro, and this was significantly cheaper. So is it worth buying? Yes, it's definitely worth looking at. Other machines I would consider, well, you guys know me, I would go and look at another MacBook Pro. But if you're looking for a PC, the Lenovo IdeaPad series I think would be worth looking at. You might find a Dell XPS or a very uh, high-end, whatever HP is calling their higher-end laptops at this point. Um, but Sony, I think Sony has an edge over Dell and HP, and this looks like a great machine. The screen resolution looks good. The graphics in here are incredible. You should be able to get some pretty good gaming in on here. I'm not a gamer, so I don't know. But Google that card, the uh, Mobility Reynon 4650. It's 512 megs dedicated, so that's got to be pretty good, right? I don't know. Not a gamer. Anyways, uh, I will mention that you get on that you get online. Yeah, you get on screen notifications here and a little sound when you uh, do your play pause your volume Let's see what that SR1 does muting okay I don't know why it doesn't say mute but alright so I guess you got a mute button no backlit keyboard not a big deal but I would miss it now that I'm used to the Mac there goes your brightness that's pretty good yeah, I like it if I were gonna go back to a PC I'd definitely think about a Vio so, anybody have a VAIO? I really don't see Sony VAIOs around that much. I mean, it's pretty much uh, your standard Inspiron and your Pavilion. And that's all I see at, at my place of work. So, let me know. You like VAIOs? Do you like this? What do you think? Is the DDR2 enough to pull you back? Kind of out of it is the, is the Core 2 Duo, even. That's not a high-end processor. Uh, just 2.2 gigahertz. Is that enough to pull you out? Hard drive's pretty good. Graphics are phenomenal. Uh, I think that an i5 in this and like, uh, I don't know, 8 gigs of DDR3 memory would make it a much better computer. And honestly, that really shouldn't add a whole lot to what this thing already cost, which I believe was 1300 Please correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, there we go. Sony VAIO. It's the F. No, it's not. The VGN FW510F. Thanks, guys, for watching our website, techinform.us, my Twitter. Twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And every Tuesday night, you can find me on Ustream.tv slash Tech Inform Us on our live web shows from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you guys there or in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.